preparing for a fight, training camp, or is this just in general? No, this is just tra training for a fight. Um, in general, you know, um, it, it depends. So sometimes I'll train two, like one or two times a day, you know, because you don't really want to, you want to overtrain, but you want to kind of stay in shape. So you gotta, you have to have a fine line. You know? So some days I'll go two days, some days I will go, you know, go one day. But I, uh, I always do the running in the morning. So uh, you know, um, I try to get in like at least two miles in the morning. You know, so that, that that'll help me, that'll help me stay in shape a little bit at least. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when's the last time you had a day where you didn't do any training? That wasn't a day? day specifically. When um, you know what? It's it's been it's probably been about a month. You know, like. Um, when after my daughter was born, actually, I took I took I took about two weeks off, man, because um, you know I had to get used to her, you know, crying, waking up, and you know, at night, and I just wasn't used to it. So I took a little bit of time off the train just to take care of my daughter. But you know, um, as soon as I was able to get back in the gym, you know, I, I was I got back, I, I was I was in there. But you know, with with her, and I wasn't I wasn't sleeping at night. I was sleeping, you know, at ten o'clock and sleeping through training. So it was just kind of kind of hard for me. But I try to eat. I try to eat right, you know, at least, so I'm not getting all this weight. Yeah. <laughs> now let's talk about how you match up with the rest of the heavyweight division. Um, yeah. Obviously, you've already fought Daniel Cormier. Um, but I guess mm -hmm. the big question is at this point in your career, how would you match the rematch against Daniel Cormier? In your honest opinion? <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's a good matchup. You know, like I'm, I'm, we're 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 teammates now, but um, oh, you really? know, I. Yeah, yeah, we're teammates. Yeah, he's out. He's out AKA right now. You know, doing thing out there, and you know, I, I'm with those guys also with Evolution. So you know, um, I, I spoke with him before. You know, I let him know, hey, we're we're gonna, we're gonna get it going. You know, I, I want to kind of you know, take my loss back during the sparring session. But no, he's a really good friend of mine. But um, <laughs> so I said, yeah, no, we watched him really, really well. You know, um, one thing I learned about training with him, man, is, is he's a grinder. You know, he's a grinder. He doesn't stop. You know, and and uh, that's definitely you know that's that's a tough thing to beat. But um. You know, um, I'm a little bit taller than him. You know, I, I can use my jab, you know, keep him away. But you know, he keeps coming. But um, you know, he he stylistically, man, me and him, it, it definitely be. It's, it's kind of it's almost even. I, I think you know, uh, you know he, his wrestling, you know, I, I have to admit his wrestling is better than mine. <laughs> you know, he, he is an Olympian. Let's, let's, uh, let's not forget that. But um, yeah, he's uh he, he's a tough dude. He's honestly a tough dude and a great person. Nice. Right, so you. I've, I noticed there was a big change in your physique in, in, your, in your fighting. What prompted mm -hmm. the big change in your physique? Was just the working out, was the training, or what prompted the big change? No, just my, I changed my training regimen. Um, I, I had to change it up a little bit, but um, you know, I started started training like a professional. <laughs> you know, so when you change it up, you know, your your body your body focuses. You know, you know, do some good changes. You know, so I, I'm trying to right now. I'm starting to do train with the uh, the training mask, and that is a beast. I don't know if anybody ever tried that, man. That, that's 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 crazy. But um, I'm starting to do some things now where, where my body's gonna start changing a lot more, and, and I'm gonna be able to stop a lot more risk for these next, you know, next for the rest of my career, you know. So right now I'm really focused on getting my weight down to 50, you know, and just and just get getting getting cut, man. And you know, because this is uh, fighting, but you know, you also gotta look good too, you know. That's gonna help all the sponsorships, you know. True. Yeah. So um. Tony Johnson versus Shane Carwin. How would you stack up? <laughs> I, I think you know I, I stack up really good with him. Honestly, um, you know he has heavy hands. You know I, I probably I probably stand with him a little bit. I think I'm, I'm a little bit quicker than him. You know a lot of people don't know how quick I am, but uh, yeah I'm, I think I'm a little bit quicker than him. But you know um, who knows if you know I know he's a wrestler too, but um, I think I can take him down, man. I think I can take him down if, if, if need be. <laughs> nice, calm um, guy like. Frank Mir. Frank Mir, that's a little that's a little bit tougher for me because you know he's a little more well well rounded. Um, he uh, his jiu jitsu is really good, and that's one one thing I need to work on my jiu jitsu. So um, nice. you know once once you once you get into the to the top, you know I know Dana Cormier is in the top ten, but once you get you know to, to the top ten, you know that, that's where I'm really going to have have a struggle because those guys are more well rounded. And as soon as I work on my jiu jitsu game, then I'll I'll be matching those guys with no problem. You know, so I'm I'm working on it. I am working on it a lot. You know, I just compare my wrestling, my jiu-jitsu game to my wrestling game. So I think my jiu-jitsu game is not good because, you know, my wrestling game is superior. You know, so I just, uh, you know, as soon as I get my, my jiu-jitsu where it needs to be, you know, I'll be a lot more dangerous. No, 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 no not the real question. The two top dogs, Alex Overeem and Junior Dos Santos, how would you match up? Let's say you're fighting Junior Dos Santos or Overeem in... 
I'm saying that you find Brett Rogers instead. Let's see if you find one of those guys. What would your game plan be necessarily going to the fight? Without giving away too much strategy, of course. And just calm your methodology about going about a fight like that and how you stack them both of those two strikers. Man, okay, let's see. With, with, with Overy, man, I think I will have to, you have to fight him coming forward, coming, coming forward a lot, you know. Um, yeah, he's definitely, definitely well-rounded. You know, he's, he throws some nasty knees, trying to get caught with one of his knees. But, uh, but yeah, just, just coming forward, coming forward, and, and you know, maybe, maybe take him down because, you know, he is, he is a K-1 Grand Prix champion. You know, it's going to be kind of hard to outstrike. I'll strike him, you know, that's like him trying to outlast me, it's not gonna happen. So, um I would I would have to take him down and uh, you know, use my use my ground game for him. But um let's see. J Junior Dos Santos man, he's uh <laughs> I definitely take him down from the get because, you know, Daniel said to me, he was like, Hey man, you know, everybody knows that Junior throws those uppercuts. You know, you think you can see him coming but he said when when he fought Kane, you know, because Daniel was in uh Kane's corner he said, those uppercuts come so fast you can't see them. So, you know, I don't want to get caught one of those things. Those, those are dangerous. So I'll have to take him down and test out his jiu-jitsu game. Good, good, good. That's not what I was expecting you to say for the most part. And um, before I let you go, I'm going to ask you some more quick questions. I don't know if you're a big baby's a man. Um, tell me, where do you see yourself fighting on a bigger stage other than Dream? And is Dream the biggest stage you've been on thus far? Yeah, I mean, I fought for Bellator. Junior's probably the bigger, you know, bigger stage. What I've tried to do in my career is not just jump to the big leagues, you know. Of course, I, I think I can compete with these guys, but when I get to the UFC, I want to be there. I want to stay there. I want to, you know, I want to make a, a name for myself. I don't want to just go there to say I, I fought in the UFC, you know, which a lot of fighters just, that, that's what they want to do. They're, oh, I fought in the UFC. You know, I fought one fight, and that's it. But that, that's not me. But um, I think, you know, hopefully I wouldn't even mind staying in Japan for, for this whole year. But, uh, you know, either maybe – Beginning of next year or the end of this year, you know, maybe we'll try the UFC. You know, so I just I just want to get some some good fights, some good some good wins on my belt before you know I I go to uh, the UFC and I haven't fought since since June. So you really don't want to go into the UFC not fighting for you know a couple months. You know, you want to kind of be on a little hot streak before you get there. So um, um, hopefully we can get you know like you know three two or three fights in Japan or even four fights in Japan and go to the UFC. Hopefully I can stay busy this year. Nice. Um, any advice for young, up-and-coming fighters? Yeah, man, stay away from those uh, grimy managers, you know. <laughs> uh, hopefully, you know, they, you know, it's, it's, I've had bad managers, and, you know, and, and it's, it's tough, you know. Stay away from that and, and train hard and, and you know, kind of, you know, get a role model, you know. Get, get, get a guy, you know, get a guy that's been in the gym that, that, that's doing well and, and just stay on his path, you know, and, and focus. And, you know, you're going to get a lot of BS out there saying you can't do it, man. Just don't listen to it and, and train hard. And at times it's going to be hard, you know. You may have a kid, you may have this, but, you know, it's don't make excuses. Just get to the gym any, you know, anytime you can and, and train hard. You, know, you got to train hard on your opponent or, or, you know, you won't, you definitely won't last in this game. So, yeah, just train hard and stay from those, those grinding managers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, no also, problem. before you go, drop us some, um, some sponsors and how can the fans get in touch with you? Oh, I'm on Twitter uh, at Hulk Johnson or my Facebook page, uh, Tony Johnson Jr. I have a fan page, Tony Johnson Jr. Also, um, you know, my sponsors I like to say thank GFY Fight Gear. He really hooked me up with a, with a lot of gear, man. He's, he's a good guy. His name's Mark. He's uh, based out of um, San Jose. Um, you know, I like to thank Evolution, you know, for helping me out training. Dan, um, he's, he's one of the owners there. Um, you know, that's it. Really, I don't, I don't really have any, uh, any. You know, sponsored, you know, month to month, except for, you know, those, the GFY. But if anybody wants to sponsor me, hey, let's do it. Let's get it, you know. Hey, but <laughs> you hear people, Tony Johnson's want sponsors. So if you guys are sponsors, hit us up. Um, yeah. Tony, thanks for the time, man. I appreciate it. Um, definitely much love. And everybody, um, there will be a follow-up interview if Tony has time after his hopefully crushing victory <laughs> over the Grim Rogers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> We're talking exactly. to him after he destroyed Grim Rogers in surprising fashion. And um, Tony, just tell me when you want to do it. We can do it at a top interview whenever you have time. And um, this is the Mondo Mane. Thank you for listening. And um, as always, keep training, keep fighting. All right, of course. Thank you so much for having me. Definitely. Easy. All right.